What else? Nashville. Telephone call from your card. He said a slip. Jordan and Shroud for Russian Tarek? What? Yo, Jordan and Shroud should just fucking go hit up some fucking optic then. The fuck? Sounds all crippled optic. You put the nail in the coffin. Rip. You're welcome. Did you cry though? If you want me to be honest, yes. I mean, when I was talking to Jordan, I was holding back the tears as well as I can. And as soon as I walked out of his doors, apart apartment doors, I just like emotionally broke. Sections. Are you done competing the CS Pro scene and retiring? We'll get there. <clears throat> you were C9 for me and it makes me sad to see you go. I'm still here. I'm still C9. That is pristine. I'm just a streamer now. Welcome to the stream. Will there be a C9 house? <clears throat> me, Rush, Ska, and Tarek are planning to move to Santa Monica to live together in a facility, in pretty much a C9 facility. So that's our plan. Like this new Cloud9 team wouldn't have happened. And to be honest, like I would rather have this Cloud9 team happen because it's basically the best team possible, right? So where we stand is we could have done something like that and probably had better players to play with, but it wouldn't have been like, I don't think it would have been good for those players. And I like, honestly, I feel like it's selfish doing that. You know, shit talking, I give Tarek about being like a peanut brain. He's actually a pretty intelligent player. He doesn't make like these ridiculous mistakes. Thank you, Jesus Christ. You know, you don't know how annoying it is hearing, now that Tarek's my teammate, you don't know how annoying it is hearing people call him peanut brain because of steel. Like, bro, Steel, Steel might be a smart player, but any professional player at a high level should be smarter than Steel at this point. The only reason people think Steel is smart is because Steel expresses everything. Like, every time he dies, every time he watches someone, he expresses his opinion. He always explains why they do that and tries to make a better play. Anyone can do that. Any professional player can do that. But... We just don't express our opinions like he does. And to be honest, if you guys think Tarek's a bad player, then you guys are out of your mind because Tarek is not a bad player. He's a good player. He's always been a good player. I mean, it makes sense. People people, people, people think I got kicked. Um, you know, the post makes it look like I got benched. Uh, if you read Stewie's tweet longer, you could tell I didn't get benched if you read that, but I don't know how many people actually read that. I think... They're both solid pickups, but it's not like they're either Tarek or Rush is like light years better than Jordan or um, Shroud. That's the thing. Over time, it kind of died. So we looked forward for other options, and uh, this was our best option so far. Option so far. Like even a uh, Freiburg came to me and wanted to join our team, wanted to move to NA. He was ready to move. But we didn't think Freiburg was like the better option, so we wanted to keep our team with North American blood. Uh, let Jack know and that let people crazy. know that hey, I'm you know I'm leaving. <clears throat> I want I'll be your backup. I'll go to events if like if I really have to. I'll play in some online stuff if I really really have to. But I'll be your backup. Um, that is pristine. But yeah, I think Jordan. I think it was a decision amongst the players. I'm not sure. I wasn't part of this decision. Like I said, I haven't talked to my team and well, I mean, I talked to them individually, like Tyler and, and Jordan and whatever. But you know, this whole Russian Tarek thing was happening. So Swag is taking Tim's spot for the qualifier, and I thought that was it. I thought I thought that's what we were gonna play like that, but it turns out Tarek and Rush are here, so it'll be Tarek, Rush, Swag, Stewie, Tyler in the qualifier. So uh, I'll be watching. That's for sure. Jordan and Shroud for Russian Tarek? What? All right, so I'm gonna relax, dude. You haven't played the game for like, what, 30 years? Now, let me start off by saying that I think this move overall is gonna be a huge benefit to Cloud9. I think they're gonna be a much better team because of this. I think that the benefits that Russian Tarek are gonna add far outweigh the benefits of having Shroud and nothing as a team. 